Morocco Solos continued their winning ways in the Glad Africa Championship with an impressive 1 0 win over Mbombela United in front of their home crowd at Dobsonville Stadium. Kumelele Ace Bengu's controversial penalty handed the birds all three points, keeping them third on the standings with 37 points. Chakuma Chamazi Vandila also walked away with maximum points following their 1 0 win over the visitors, Denberg United. Lebohan Mabocha's goal was enough to hand TTM their ninth win of the season, moving them up to fifth on the league standings. Another draw played out at Kabukweni Stadium. This time it was Tia Sporting who held Free State Stars to a 1 0 draw. Abandubem Teto got their goal through former Kaza Chiefs defenders Busiso Kumalo, while Siabonga Dubula made it count for Yalla Koto. Jama Cosmos returned to winning ways with a 1 0 win over Richards Bay. So, this is what it looks like as far as the results that were concerned. Some uh, big victories there. Jomo Cosmos will be ecstatic with that, uh, getting the three points there. Swallows continue their fantastic form and they'll be happy with that tonight. In terms of results, uh, Ajax Cape Town played uh, and they got uh, their victory against uh, Real Kings. So they will have uh, uh, continued to uh, uh, con make sure of stabilizing their position at the top of the table. Now, let's take a look at our Mumish of the Week. Undisputed this week with uh, that Mumish of the week. Guys, let's talk about what's coming up with regard to that Soweto derby. How key, when we look at the APSA Premiership, is that Soweto derby encounter between Chiefs and Pirates going to be in terms of where this league title will go? I think for me, it's very... For Chiefs, it's about consolidating. If they win? If they win. If they, they win have that to game. Keep winning. If they win that game, yes. what do you expect from them in terms of the title? I, I think Thomas, if we pirates, we'll the sundowns. Lavandaba continent, no vets. There's no much alone. So the derby itself, you don't think is going to be a decider? No, no, game we decide. League, league, you don't win game, <laughs> games. You don't win league in 20 games. You don't you win, win it in. You, you don't win it in February. Thomas, you understand what I mean? <laughs> so what I'm is, saying. What yeah. is also gonna What is also gonna be key? It's uh, Orlando Pirates have got two weeks to prepare for the derby. Kaiser the Chiefs are still in the Netball Reality. Cup. They've got a high-intensity game that is coming up with the Cup game against Islands Park. It's mm. going to be very important. That's where the key is. Where will he play Cardoso? Will he play Manyama? Will he play Frosta? He needs to look at the depth of his team in terms of is he going to bring players. Now, when you get to this time of the season, that's where yellow cards are important. You look at Sundowns, the likes, the likes of Kekani, Serino, the likes of Ligusa. You are saying three yellow cards. that Ben Mutsuari maybe didn't play this last game? Mm. Because of yellow cards? I, ben, the official word is that he's injured. Yeah. Ben Musari was on three yellow cards this weekend. Yeah. And you know how bumpy, how bumpy Tendo Stadium is. He could have made a mistake and tackled there in that and get a yellow card. Oh, Panke No, Mamela. Oh, Ben Musari, box to box on 829. Who's a boy boss midfield? Oh, Ben Musari. Ah, so bored. Oh, Ben Musari, we have a boss at midfield in 829. Okay. At six o'clock. The gap will be three points. Uh, okay. What a yes, prediction. Some emotions. What a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show it to you on Monday if it goes that way or if it doesn't. I'm Tom Simlambo. This has been at Soccer Zone for sure. See you on Wednesday night when we bring you Sport at 10. Good night.